My name is Peter Conradi and I'm in group 70. Today I'm talking about a great entrepreneur called Walter Disney. On the 5th of December in 1901, in Hermosa, Illinois, Walter Elias Disney was born. No one could have imagined that he would become one of the most successful entrepreneurs and someone that revolutionized the way we see entertainment and films forever. Walter and his brother Roy had a hard childhood. Their father was a strict disciplinarian who believed in corporal punishment for the smallest acts of misconduct. Walt escaped his circumstances through drawing pictures and living in a fantasy world where he was in control. At 16, he made his final escape. He dropped out of school and joined the Red Cross Army Corps. During World War I, he was deployed as a medic in France. After the war, Walt moved to Kansas City, Missouri, where he took a job at Filmco, a firm that specialized in animated advertisements. Fortunately for mankind, he had bigger dreams. His garage was converted into a studio, and with borrowed equipment, he started producing laughograms. Although these short comedy animations were well received, they weren't really financially viable. Things took a turn for the better when he moved to Los Angeles in 1923. After teaming up with his brother Roy and founding the Disney Brothers Company, they had their first success, an animation called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. However, he had the idea stolen from him by his distributors. The Disney Brothers did not give up, and in no time they struck gold with a character based on a mouse that lived in their office. And so, a legend called Mickey Mouse was born. The Disney Brothers made a second breakthrough in 1928 with the production of Steamboat Willie, the first cartoon with a synchronized soundtrack. Further success came when Disney produced Mickey Mouse films using the latest technology called Technicolor. Another reason for the tremendous success of Disney lies in the extraordinary managerial skills of Walter and a merchandising campaign that contributed to over 25% of the to total revenue of the company. Disney became a household brand with its name and famous characters on virtually anything from billboards to clothing and toys. As a result of his childhood and his father's influence, Walter had severe control issues which explains why he ruled his company with an iron fist and had control over every decision made and penny spent. This might not have made him very popular amongst those working for him, but his finances thrived under his dictatorship. Although they rolled in cash, Walt was not satisfied. He had, much he had a much la larger vision and started producing a full-length movie cartoon with color and sound. After three years in the, mo in the making, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was released in 1937. It was an immediate success, and the Disney Brothers moved from being a sideshow to being the main, main attraction. Their success was followed by films such as Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, and Bambi. Shows such as Mickey Mouse Club and Walt Disney Presents were also hugely popular to audiences around the world and the money just kept pouring in. Walt Disney was awarded a total of 22 Academy Awards, but his greatest achievement will forever be when he created a real life version of the fantasy world that he used to escape as a child. In 1955, Disneyland in Anaheim, California became a reality. Despite Disneyland being hugely popular, Walter, still, Walter was still unsatisfied and in the early 1960s, he began the planning for his next theme park, called Walt Disney World. Unfortunately, Walt Disney never saw this dream become a reality, as he died of lung cancer in 1966, at the age of 65. He will forever be remembered as a true entrepreneur, and the father of animated movies as we know them today.